Hey, we're going to find the inverse of the function. And so you see your steps on the left side. And so I'm going to go through the steps with this example. The first thing we're going to do is replace f of x with y. The second thing that we're going to do is interchange x and y. So everywhere you see an x, you write a y. And everywhere you see a y, you write an x. Okay, so this y here becomes an x. And that equals 2y plus 7. Now you're going to solve for y. So we're going to get y by itself. So in order to get y by itself, I'm going to move the 7 and then move the 2. So I'm going to subtract 7. So x minus 7 would equal 2y. To get y by itself, I'm going to divide by 2. So x minus 7 over 2 would equal y. Now technically, that's your answer. But if you wanted to make it all nice and neat, and I call it tied up in a red bow, you're going to, sorry, try that again. You're going to say x minus 7 over 2 equals f inverse of, sorry, computer issues again. Let's try it again. x minus 7 over 2. Instead of calling it y, we're going to give it its formal name. And its formal name is that f inverse symbol. Now, I'm not going to trick you for that. with that. I'm just looking for x minus 7 over 2. But um, that's technically how they're going to do it uh, in the in the book. All right, so we're going to do a couple more of these. So I'm asking you to find the inverse of this function. It's a cubic function. So the first thing I'm going to do is replace f of x with y. And the second thing that I'm going to do is interchange x and y. Everywhere I see a y, I'm going to put an x. And everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a y. So then I'm going to solve for y. So to solve for y, I'm going to move the 1 first. And then I'm going to move the 4. And then I'm going to take care of the 3. So the 1 goes first. You move what's furthest away first. Then I'm going to divide by 4. So x plus 1 over 4 would equal y cubed. And then to get rid of the cube, I'm going to do its opposite, which is the cubed root. So the cubed root of x plus 1 over 4 would equal y. And that would be your answer. But if you wanted to call it by its formal name, you could replace y with f inverse. Okay, lastly, uh, replace f of x with y. Interchange x and y. Solve for y. Okay, when I get ready to solve for y here, I can't do anything in the y with the y right now because it's inside that radical. So the first thing I have to do is get rid of that radical so I'll get that kind of protection off of it. So I'm going to cube both sides. So x cubed would be over here. And on the right side, the cubed root and the cube cancel out. So now I've got the y minus 2. And now to get y by itself, I'll just add 2. So x cubed plus 2 would equal y. Now that's going to be your answer. However, if you wanted to make it all formal, you can replace y with the f inverse symbol. And that's how it would look.